Hi, and welcome to my channel. I wanted to make this video about not letting energy, aka emotions, not the only form of energy, but emotions, um, not letting energy sit. What I mean by that is when you're feeling an energy that either you like or that you don't like, um, base, especially ones that you don't like, so it can be a triggering emotion or just feeling stale throughout the day. Anytime you're feeling an energy that you're not wanting to amplify, as I mentioned, there's you whether it's good energy or bad energy to not let it just sit right there if you have good energy there are ways to amplify it and there are ways to integrate it and ground it so it stays in integrity and it's right and then there are ways to when you receive energies you don't want to amplify the ones that you prefer to minimize there are ways to move through it so that you can continue to be the creator of the life that you want the energy of just feeling stagnant or just feeling like dull or stale and not feeling like your highest right when you're in an energy that you're not feeling your highest you will start to manifest other things that aren't your highest like maybe um, getting sick not feeling well feeling like you look a bit different like you're not feeling like you're fully embodied when you're working with an energy like stagnancy, if you think about stagnant energy, like stagnant water, if it just sits, it's gonna fester and it'll grow other things in connection with the stillness, like bacteria and stuff. That can make you sick, things that are not good. Um, but if you think stagnancy, if you're feeling like, oh, I feel kind of stuck or just dull, movement is what would resolve, say, like example of stagnant water, stagnancy, movement. So if you're feeling stagnant in your life, where can you create movement physically in your everyday? So maybe it's being actually physically more active in your life. Maybe it's just noticing, oh my gosh, I'm so tight in this particular area of my body and doing a stretching routine they say trauma is stored in the body and it does manifest event and it eventually can turn into illness but it can store and create areas of tightness feelings or energy is either trying to get you to shift your perspective or change something make a physical change in action do an action or leave something behind make a big change it doesn't have to be big be little change. we make a change and so it was very uh those were the two examples that came stagnancy and anger were the two examples that came up so they actually do coincide because if you have anger being stored likely you're gonna feel a heaviness throughout the day um, but that's bringing it back to the stagnancy thing if you're feeling stagnancy in the day-to-day -day. but if you're feeling surges of anger come up there are two things to realize does something actually need to change or does a perspective need to shift shift if an action needs to be taken remember the first and foremost thing even if you're married you're in a relationship your family no matter who it is you cannot you cannot control another and be on your highest path. You cannot try to control another and be on your highest path. When you have something like children, of course, you're guiding them, right? Like, you're helping them to remember, like, hey, don't jump on the cabinets and you're gonna get hurt, like, you know. But there's still not control over, you know, if they cry, they have to be able to have their emotions. If they're feeling tantrum-y, we process our own emotions until they are able to 
process and understand those exact emotions that we feel, but just in such a tiny being where you can't intellectualize and comprehend it. You know, for us as adults, this is just a side note. We have the mechanism to be hurt or have something bad happen and feel like, oh my God, this is the end of the world. But then rationalize and say, okay, maybe that was my dream job. But technically, there was one or two things I didn't like about it. Or okay, maybe I did think this was the ideal scenario and it fell apart and you know, I'm gonna get a therapist and I'm gonna problem solve about this. We can do that, babies can't. To them, something bad happens. The end of the world is the end of the world. They fall in love with an item and it's taken away. Now something that like they love is removed and now they're mourning, you know? <laughs> I don't know why I went on that little, uh, side note about children, but it's just to say we can't um, control another. And so when we're looking at our emotions to decide whether to take action or shift our perspective around it, if our thought is like, I want to take action, and the action is this person needs to do 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 do. And so the action could be having a conversation and if the person agrees then you know you guys can find an understanding but then remember this is anger so if the ang the action comes to you know i want to have this conversation but if they disagree right this is where intuition comes in. My most recent video about bullying talks about like feeling a sudden trigger by something happening to you so um that could be a good example that, that talks a little more about like when you're feeling that sudden emotion of like you know and then you know but i'm talking about aside from that like the overall what we're gonna do in general like we're planning ahead right now this will help is that so that when we're feeling that emotion we can remember oh like let me not lash out right now but remember like there's a reason this is coming up. Oh, is this like, you know, something minimal and it must be repressed emotions because this is something minimal or is this is something like, no, this is actually something that really is not right. Or this is something that's out of my control, but how can I mediate the situation where I avoid putting myself in that kind of a situation or putting myself in a vulnerable place of, feeling offense towards that or thinking that that means something um about them or about me um, very specific kind of exampling but it's really important to address when these things come up for you because they come up for a reason and this is the whole entire life if you think about being born going through childhood which can be so annoying because you know you might be a child and you just want to run to the beach but you can't because you're you know you don't drive and it's not up to you you know so you have to go through the whole thing of like birth childhood teenage years and high school there's so much that goes into a life and you know that sounds kind of funny to think about things that way but it's true and like to not let it go to waste in a way that we're just kind of like feeling these emotions and being like oh but whatever and then reading a magazine or distracting ourselves, which is beautiful to do um, leisurely things, intentional leisure. Like, oh, I'm being leisurely right now, but not like I have to do this thing, oh, and then like distracting ourselves. Say like, man, all right, am, am I just needing to step out of this comfortable energy? Is this the energy of stagnancy, the he heavy energy that's making me not want to do this thing that's simple and that I actually would like to do, but just don't really feel like doing it that's because there's a change in energy and that heavy energy just just or whatever energy it doesn't have to be heavy it just whatever energy you're in you don't feel like it because you're feeling the energy you're in so just do the thing and then you'll start to feel the energy of the thing um without thinking about it when i was younger i had a bit um like health issues and uh, i started getting into exercise and health and the only way I got into any like routine with exercise is when I absolutely did not think about it so that's just like a little thing it's like you know I remember if there was a second that I pictured myself doing it before going 
I was not going or I did not want to go and it was, felt heavier to go. Or if I just completely ignored the idea of whether, like the, the picturing. When it's something you know you want to do, intentionally make sure to just go ahead and do that thing make that movement or that change because when you know you want to intentionally and especially if it's like all oh, this one thing you know don't think it doesn't make a difference even if it feels like a small thing it does make a difference and so when we listen to the subtle details the feelings in our life and instead of just paying attention to the mental stimuli that comes from the physical things that are happening around us you literally feel what you're feeling you literally just feel whatever you're feeling and that will guide you that will take you to wherever your fulfillment lies and even if you're feeling like i'm happy right now i'm already fulfilled but for some reason i'm feeling this feeling listen because it's gonna continue your fulfillment it's gonna help your growth because you're here to to grow and grow does, growth doesn't always have to be painful growth can be beautiful so don't shy away from these things and don't be in fear especially when something um and this is gonna go a little deeper now especially if it's something that's been on your heart where you're like oh i feel feel like I don't know I feel like I should be doing this thing or I should make this change or let this go or I feel like this is not supposed to be or there's something a little better in this particular area of my life I feel like there's something more if you're feeling that whatever you're feeling that around listen to that listen to it because it's not just a feeling of like you know do you still want this what are you going to do with this it's a feel these feelings are feelings of okay you have free will this is what you have and i know you wanted this at a point and maybe you still want it but do you feel that it's expiring expiring do you feel that it's getting stale do you feel that it's just not <sighs> God's not screaming yes behind it. If you're not feeling like God is screaming yes behind the things you're doing and behind your life, then feel why that is. Feel into, okay, if that's what I'm feeling like, it's not a, like, it's not a full yes. It's, I'm not feeling like that, a full yes. What area of my life would be the area that's not the full yes? That I'm kind of like, everything's yes, but this one's kind of maybe checking it out. Don't <sighs> adapt to that feeling. Don't adapt to those feelings because God will say, okay, it's your literal choice. If you're saying you want this more than... Your highest version, your highest self, your God self is wanting and is guiding from the top. Okay, because you say you want this so much, but however, your God self sees how much you want that and also still agrees that it still wants XYZ that it already planned for its soul um, um, on the spirit side. So, you know. You, you're going to be given the free will to decide and to choose. However, there's a reason why that information is coming online. That's, there's a reason why that feeling is coming about and it's activating within you. And it's not always just the feeling of the outside world because of course we do get influenced by the heaviness of the earth but if we're feeling it every single day on a day-to-day -day basis there could be changes that be, are needing to that there could be changes that are being that are being 
messengered to you through these feelings. It's guidance. And so nobody wants to be uncomfortable. But when you think about being born into the earth, where there's so much difference, of course, as loving souls, we're gonna wanna stay with what feels comfortable for us, what feels good, because it's safe. It's safety, it's security. And when it's time to change, it's gonna, there, it's likely that it will or can, it's likely that it can be highly uncomfortable. And it's highly likely for that to be the case because we're holding on to what's secure and what's safe for us. However, when we trust, and even if it's uncomfortable, it's just a transitional period, but we can see the step that the universe is asking us to take. It may be uncomfortable, but the funny thing is that being in that energy where your guidance is constantly giving you a feeling, it's gonna be uncomfortable too anyway. So may as well do that courageous jump and go for that thing or those things that you're wanting to. And see what uh, changes that is destined to spike and what changes that is destined to make and so that is the video i want to share with you so that's to say how important it is to move the energy and not um just ignore feelings and when you have feelings whether they're sudden feelings um pain impulsive quick feelings or they're just overall subtle feelings throughout the day they're giving us a sign they're telling us something and they're helping us they're trying to help us move towards what's highest highest aligned for us so seeing if the energy is calling for a shift in perspective or a change an action, small action or big life change. So see what these feelings are trying to tell you and especially remembering to feel them overall and process these feelings. Sometimes the feeling is just telling you to feel the feeling. Um, you know, example of stagnancy, then moving and then feeling the pain and then just feeling the feeling um, that is coming up. And a lot of times it's just... <clears throat> bringing our attention to that and sometimes we need to like cringe and uh, stretch and like scream while alone mm. i say it like that because it's like don't accumulate karma or bring anybody in so really addressing our emotions um will clear everything and then you can easily bring solutions and address things um but from a foggy brain you can't do anything when you're um being pulled by the outside world or things that you're the quickness of uh, a harsher emotion so that was just my little closing um so let's so this is talking a little more about emotional processing because emotional processing is so key and so important for emotional fulfillment and arriving to where you're supposed to be arriving to so thank you so much for watching and much love